Holy smokes, here we go again. We got another one. So let's look at one of these word problems. It's going to be a quadratic word problem. Now, when you look at it at the beginning, if you look at the equation, it doesn't look like a quadratic, but I'll show you. We'll get there. So we got mustaches. Last year, they were sold for five Qatari reals. This year, they want to raise the price and make a little bit more money. But obviously, you raise the price, you're going to make less money, or you're going to sell less of them. So they do some research, and then they create a model. So S is the total sales, and P is the price increase. Now, which of those is related to the X? Now, remember, X is the independent variable. Y is the dependent variable, the one that depends on something else. Well, it says right there, S is dependent. So Y is S, which is the uh, total sales. as in the amount of money. I guess it's not very clear in the problem. And then x is the price increase, which is, of course, p. All right, so the first thing it asks us to do is rewrite the equation into standard form. So what we need to do is we need to go s equals 5 plus p times 150 minus 10p. Now, you know how to do this because we learned this a few, uh, few weeks back, is we need to FOIL. So we're going to go 5 times 150. 5 times 150 would be 750. 5 times negative 10 would be negative 50p. If I'm going too fast, just pause it and, uh, and catch up and, or rewind if you need to. Plus 150p and then minus... 10p squared. Now, of course, this still isn't standard form because I need it to be in the right order. So I'm going to take that minus 10p squared, and I'm going to put it first. If I put these two together, I'm going to have plus 100p, and then I've got a plus 750. So there we go. It's all set up. It's ready to go. Letter B. If there is no price increase, how much money will they make? So if P is 0, if there's no price increase, how much money will they make? So we're going to go S equals negative 10 times 0 squared plus 100 times 0 plus 750. And obviously that will be 0 plus 0 plus 750 equals $750. So $750 is what they would make if they did not increase the price. Now, you may say, but Mr. Bauer, I already knew that. I knew that if I put that, if I put that zero in there, I was going to get 750. Do I have to show all that work? The answer is no. You don't have to show all that work. Just recognize that if you do miss it or if it's a different situation where things are in a different order, it might not just magically be that last number. Okay, It's not magic. It's that last number because the things with the variables are going to end up going away. Just be careful with it. If it's in standard form and it's a quadratic, then yes, that last number will be the y-intercept, which is what we're going to answer on letter C. On a graph, what would this point represent? Well, P, remember, was x. So if x is 0, you may remember that that is always the y-intercept. Okay, so we've answered letter C. Let's go on to letter D. Find the vertex. Now, um, the easiest way to find a vertex, if you don't have anything already, is just to start with negative b over 2a. And that will give us the x value of the vertex. And so if we look at standard form, b is the 100. So that would be negative 100 over 2 times a. And a is negative 10. And so that would be 100, negative 100 over negative 20. Now that negative can go either on the top or on the bottom. Just don't give it to both, right? It doesn't distribute to the top and bottom. It's just there once. Now you'll notice that it doesn't really matter whether you go to the top or the bottom. It's going to end up canceling out. 100 divided by 20 is 5. And so the x value of the vertex is 5. So remember that x was resembling p, and p is the price increase. So technically this should be the p value of the vertex. Now, um, what that means is that the vertex is at a price increase of 5 reals. We'll, we'll talk about that in, in letter E here. Uh, but let's finish D first. We haven't finished finding the vertex. Uh, we found the x value. Once you have the x value, how do you get the y value? Well, you plug it back into the equation. 
Now, you can put it into this equation that was in standard form, or you can actually put it into that other equation if you want. It doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. I'm just going to show you that it works both ways, because I can go s equals negative 10 times 5 squared plus 100 times 5 plus 750. Now, if I were to do it that way, I would have negative 10 times 25 plus 500 plus 750. And if I did that, then it would be equals negative 250 plus 500 plus 750, which ends up giving me s equals 1,000. Sweet. So s equals 1,000. Yeah, I could have put it into the original equation up here as well, because I would have had 5 plus 5, and then 150 uh, minus 10 times 5, which, of course, would have been 10 times uh, 150 times uh, times 50, which would have been 100. And so that would be 1,000. So it doesn't really matter which one. They're both the same. That's the whole point. When you write it in standard form, it's really the same equation. It's just It just looks a little bit different. The graph and all the values associated with it should be exactly the same. All right, so we found the vertex. The vertex is 5, 1,000. Now letter E essentially asks, what does this mean? Right? Why is this important for rota? Well, the vertex, remember, is either the highest or lowest point. Now, if we look at standard form, we notice that there's a negative in front of the p squared. Now, that negative, remember, if you have a negative outside of the function, that actually causes a vertical flip. And so our graph is going to actually be a parabola, but it's going to be upside down, which in this case means that the vertex is going to be the maximum, the maximum amount of money that they can make. And so this says, if x is 5, now remember x was the price increase, so if we raise the cost by 5 Qatari reals, we will make or we'll earn a maximum 1,000, uh, I guess it's not It's not dollars, sorry, that is Qatari Reals. So that should have been Qatari Reals too. Just fix that. So there you go. That's what the vertex means. That's the maximum amount of money that they can make is a 1,000 Qatari Reals. Now, a 5 Qatari Real increase means that they would have to take the original 5, add 5 more, which means if they charged 10 Reals, they will make the maximum amount of money. The, the uh, total sales will be at, an, at the maximum. All right, so there you go. I hope that that helped to get through that question, and uh, that's all.